Do you ever feel your MacBook is running out of space way too quickly? You've cleaned up everything you can see, but something keeps gobbling up your storage. Well, there's more to it than meets the eye. And today we're diving deep into cleaning up your MacBook properly without risking any important files. So when you open up your storage settings on Mac OS Sonoma, the storage management tool shows you all the typical ways you can clean up your space. You know, reviewing large files, optimizing your storage, and then enabling your trash to empty automatically. This sounds like a one-stop shop solution for a clutter-free MacBook, right? But unfortunately, it's not that simple. There are hidden cache and junk files scattered throughout your system that the inbuilt storage management tool can touch. Even if you're diligent and you clear out large files and apps and all the media that you no longer need, there's one ominous section that stays stubbornly large. Let's start this off by taking a look at what the inbuilt Mac OS tools can offer you. And the first thing you need to do is go into your storage settings and click on optimize storage. And this is one of Apple's automated tools that helps you clear up space by deleting your iTunes movies, your music, TV shows you've already watched and all that good stuff. The second option is the reduce clutter tool and this tool lets you review large and unused files manually and while this sounds like the most promising way to you know clear out your space, the problem here is that it organizes your files by size rather than relevance. So you're given a list of files but you need to comb through them yourself to decide what's important to you and what can go. You can easily end up hesitating to delete files if you're unsure about its importance. And your third option is for your trash to be emptied automatically. And this feature clears out items in your trash after 30 days. And while this is helpful in the background of things, let's be really honest with ourselves. Most of us already empty our trashes manually every now and then, so this doesn't exactly make a big dent in reclaiming space. Now, these options are decent for the surface level stuff, but here's where things get more frustrating. Even after using all the built-in tools, you'll probably notice that the system data is still hogging a significant portion of your storage. What's worse is macOS doesn't let you directly access or clean it up. And this is where all your hidden cache files, your temporary files, and other mysterious data pile up. Up. However, if you're feeling adventurous and you want to go beyond Mac OS's built-in tools, there is a more hands-on approach. That is your manual cache cleanup. Now, you can also clean the cache in your web browsers. For instance, in Google Chrome or Firefox, you can clear up just the cache files while leaving your cookies or your browsing history intact. And speaking of cookies, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hungry. However, with Safari, it's a bit trickier. There's no option to only delete cache files without also clearing out the cookies instead. So if you clean up your Safari cache files, you'll also be logged out of all the websites that you have already been into, which can be very annoying if you're juggling multiple accounts. Here's another downside to manual cleanup. Unless you know exactly what you're looking for, you run the risk of deleting something very important. And it's easy to mistake a system file for junk and end up causing unintended damage to your MacBook's operating system. Now here's where Clean My Mac swoops in to save the day. If the manual route sounded a bit too risky or time consuming, this tool makes the whole process effortless while offering a far deeper level of cleanup than Mac OS's built-in features. One standout feature is my clutter, which does what Mac OS's documents section cannot do. While documents simply sort out files by size, my clutter intelligently identifies duplicate files which are the exact copies taking unnecessary space, similar files which are not really identical but they still are redundant like multiple versions of the same file and they also identify as older files. Now let's talk about the standard cleanup feature of Clean My Mac. It offers a more thorough cleaning process for system junk, targeting items that Mac OS won't let you access directly such as hidden cache files, outdated logs, and unnecessary temporary files. And the best part, it does this while ensuring you're not deleting anything critical. Unlike manual cleanup, there's no risk of accidentally removing something important. It's a one-click solution that gets the job done with complete safety. So I did a side-by-side -side comparison to see how much space I could free up using Mac OS's built-in storage management tool versus Clean My Mac. With Mac OS's built-in options, I managed to clear out some large files and optimize my storage, but the results were underwhelming. Then I ran Clean My Mac and the amount of storage I reclaimed was staggering. It cleaned out a massive amount of hidden files or the files that I couldn't touch with the inbuilt tools. So I got rid of the duplicate files, unnecessary cache files, and any updated system junk were all gone. And my Mac felt snappier than ever. So with all that being said, what are your ways of cleaning up your own MacBook 
comment down below and let me know. If you got any value from this video, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. My name is KJ and I'll catch you guys in the next one.